What's up, y'all, man? It's King Carlos here, bro. Let's speak on it. Let's go ahead and speak on this shit, man. They're trying to do it to Cosby again. And I told y'all, and people see, everybody says, oh, Carlos, bro, you got a super old school way of thinking when it comes to the interracial dating thing. And you need to be more open-minded. It's 2021. <sighs> okay, you see what they're doing in 2021? And that shit happened 20 some years ago. All the, all the sex they're talking about, bro, that shit occurred over, 20 some, over 30 years ago, bro. Over 30 years ago. They're talking about this nigga Bill Cosby getting in trouble for sex he had with women over 30 years ago. And y'all think that if some of these chicks, some of these white girls y'all fucking with today, or just Hispanic, or any chick that's not black, because they're going to, no, no matter what, they're going to treat them. When they when they come in there and they find out that they, they're, they're reporting a black man, they're going to treat them as like they're a white woman and give them that type of treatment when it comes to how they um, railroad your ass. And that's real, bro. The whole thing with it is this. When it goes bad with any woman, black women call the police on us too, bro. Right? And black women put put, put face false, false rape charges on us as well. But you know the difference between black women and these women to these white women and shit, these women who aren't black? No cap. And this is just real shit, bro. The police believe them. They take it to, they actually take it to trial. They actually put it in the newspaper. They actually take a picture of your face. They actually come pick you up about the shit. Okay? All this, like that, like it's taken seriously, bro. Think about the. I, I keep saying this, bro. And I, I gotta find out this dude's name and quit just saying it, saying the dude, bro. Because it's disrespectful for me and I find out this guy's name and say his actual name, bro. And this bad enough his brother's doing. I know y'all know that brother, bro. He's doing 12 years right now. He literally was in the club, met some cute ass white chick. He, they start kissing, he start feeling on her booty. You know, white women, they like, you know, they they skin, they turn red. Any any woman of any any women that are not melanin complexed, because you know, are bright like what. Yellow bones and red and red, a lot of red women do the same. A lot of red, a lot of red bones do the same thing. When you touch their skin, when you rub their skin, bro, it show. Like you can grab, you can grab a white woman, not even hard, but just kind of hard. They do it themselves. They can grab themselves hard, and they do it all the time for, bro, for, for um, when they're trying to get in trouble with domestic disputes. They just grab their hand hard and let it go, and it shows skin. Well, okay, when he was grabbing her booty and stuff like that, and feeling on her and giving her hickeys and shit, that shit showed. When she went home to her parents. And they found out she went to a club and was fucking with a nigga. She said, all right, oh, I got raped to play it off so she wouldn't get in trouble by her parents. She played that rape card. Same thing that had happened to Adrian's Elba when, um, and uh, uh, Daddy's Girls, that Tyler Perry movie, if you ever seen it. Well, she played that role and said, hey, he raped me. They believed it. They, they actually believed it. Shit, this nigga ain't never fucked. He never fucked. He just grabbed her booty and kissed her, bro. This nigga's doing 12 years in prison. He was in college. This is a college student, bro. A college student. He was going to a university. I got to find out the university he was going to, bro. He's doing 12 fucking years, my nigga, and he got to get out and have be on probation for 25 years. Think about the guy. I, I can't. I think. Uh, I mean, they got. They, they look. Think about. Think about all these cases that are coming out now that they're barely turning over these trials and admitting their wrongdoings, bro. To all these false rape charges, these false rape charges, bro. On all us, bro. Black men. They putting us in nigga 40, 50 years, 60 years, bro. Because you supposedly raped the white girl, and and most of the time it's just fucking. The white bitch get mad that it's not going her way or the Asian girl, whatever, Hispanic, whatever she is, she gets pissed off. She goes to the police. She say, oh, I was with a, a black guy and he raped me or this black guy coerced me. I went over there to hang out with him and just smoke weed. I don't want to do any of that. We end up, he ended up forcing me to have sex with him. You know, they're going to believe it, bro. Even though all this guy, you know, they know damn well it was in one force, bro. But it's to get your black ass locked up. It's like, yeah, let's get them. Fuck them. You already know that it's, this, this country is America. Uh, when you say the word America, Killing black people and the disgrace of black people, the total destruction of our race is a part of it. Ain't no damn bad America and good America. That is America. Destroying the black man, making sure that our race is fucking, fucking desolated. Our, our, our core, our family unit is desolated, bro. Our thinking is desolated, destroyed, bro. Our financial system is fucked. Like, like you got to understand that, bro. And I'm not sitting up here making excuses because I'm going to do the best I can, bro. And y'all going to make a way for me regardless. I've still been eating good and living good, but I understand where the fuck we at. I understand, like, man, come on, bro. And these, and then you gotta understand that even if they, like, even if she like you and she wants you to be, even when, like, they want you and, like, you're in a relationship, you're in, a, you're in an interracial relationship and it's going well, you know society wanted to fuck up anyway, or they can't wait to have y'all, y'all to have an argument anyway, so the neighbors can run their ass over there and pull a gun on you and say, hey, man, get away from her. This is your relationship. This is your girl, bro. Y'all having a fight and argument that couples have all the time. But you know because she white or something, they're gonna come over there and play that role. They're gonna do it. That's nothing to do with y'all want. They're gonna come do it.
Y'all be careful out here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, bro.